Okay, so if anyone has seen my At Dead of Night gameplay, you'll see that I have the radar map cheat. Unfortunately, though, it, it, you kind of have to fix it a little bit um, in order to get the cheat to work. And uh, this, this is going to be how you all do it. This is going to be how you all do it. So this is the Reddit post of the... Add, it shows basically it shows like what to expect with the add to the night sheets. Like you know, there's the map in the corner and shit like that. Links also there as well, or you can pop in through the description. I'll have the GitHub link posted as well. You also need Notepad plus plus and Bandy Zip. Which for Bandy Zip, just click that free download. You don't need to buy a license. Free download, good enough. So when you get to the GitHub page, click on where it says four tags, click that, and click on the latest version, right? See the, where my mouse is click right on? You click that, and obviously you click on release.zip. And then it'll download for you. Yes, it will download for you, very, very good. So anyway, when you open up um, the, uh, the bandies, the zip file, You'll have a full, like, when you, okay, when you first, let me, let me show you guys again, so you guys can, you know what to expect. So when you first open up Bandy Zip, like the file in Bandy Zip, it's going to look like this. You're not going to see the cheats folder. Just click on this folder with the two dots, and then you'll have cheats. Now, where you want this file to go, you're, it, it, again, you don't have to watch it. You can just skip the, I'll get a timeline thing so you know where to skip, but just go to, like, the main, well, no, go to back to cheats. And then scroll down, they'll tell you exactly where you need to put the shits. And, you know, where to put that as well. I'll show you anyway because I'm a visual learner. So we'll just uh, do that. So you're going to go to where your at dead of night is located, which for me is in Steam, Steam apps, common, at dead of night. C or D drive, I'm not, it depends, mine's in the D drive, but you know, if you have a C drive, it's probably in the C drive, D drive, it, for me it's D drive, anyway, you're gonna just find program files, 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then that dead of night, this is the folder you want, open up package.nw, now I already have the cheats folder, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that, I don't, I don't need that right now. And then what you're going to go do here is you're going to put the cheats file that you have in the bandy zip. Just drag that bad boy in there. Drag him in there. You, 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 you're done with that. Go ahead and click off that. Now take this and control C or just right click and copy. That works too. So you're going to look for index.html. Right click. Open with and you're going to use notepad++ for this. This is the first step, guys. You gotta do this. Scroll all the way, all the way down until you get to about here. Not since I've already done it, I'm gonna just go ahead and erase and do it again. So you want it before the this one, like before the bottom slash HTML. You do not want it before the top HTML. Darn it, quit. You do not want it before this one. You want it before the one at the bottom, which is right here. So just go ahead and Control V. Or, you know, uh, just paste that, right click and paste as well, doesn't really matter. And then you'll save it, since I've already, you know, I didn't really do much with this, so... No, I'm not gonna save that, I'm not gonna, okay. Okay, so now that you've done that, so make sure you save, don't be like me and not save, but since I've already done it, I didn't have to save, it was just there. Open up your cheats folder, the new cheats folder you just made, yeah, yeah, the one that you just popped in there, yeah, open that. Right click on connector.js and open with notepad++. You can use notepad as well, but notepad++ is a lot easier in my opinion. But you can use notepad for it anyway. So on this one, scroll all the way, well not all the way, but scroll to about line 65. See where mouse is hovering over line 65? Yeah, yeah, go there. You're going to kind of go all the way to the end. Oop, too much. And then you're going to look, or you know, if you want to make it easier for yourself as well, control F and then type in um, event.code and then click find all in current documents, which they're both on line uh, 65. So just uh, double click on, there it is right here. 
So here it is, event code equals. Now the equals one is going to make the map bigger. However, for some odd known reason, when you click on the equal sign, it, it doesn't do much. The minus sign, which if you look over here, there's the event code minus that. Okay, you didn't need to do me like that, young man. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the event code minus that. Okay, that you being you being you be an asshole now, quit. I'm going to shit on this thing. I swear to gosh, I will shit on this thing. It doesn't behave. Okay, so here's the event code minus. That is to make the map smaller. As as I was saying before, it kept being a little asshole to me. However, uh, let me show you all what it does for me if I don't change it. Okay, so as you can see here, we're just going to go ahead and call the lift. Don't worry about that red thing. That is just supposed to be like Jimmy's location or something. I turned that off, but again, you really don't, uh, yeah, I, I turned it off. I, yeah, there, there he goes over there. So when you push the minus key and equal key, see, it all goes away. You can push it as many times as you want, it will not uh, go back on the ground floor where it's safe. <laughs> you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna um, have luck for, with that. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Now, for me, when I did the, uh, when I did, you know, my gameplay, I used, a, like I said, I used completely different um, keys for it. Like, yeah, I used different keys for it. So what I did, you could use any key you want, so long as it's not, as long as the game doesn't use it, and as long as the, uh, this cheat file here, like, I think the cheat file uses K, so don't use K, D, don't use D or anything, like, because that's ambience thing. So for this one, I used key M. I used the M key for the, uh, to make the map bigger. And to make the map smaller, minus, click, the minus, key in. So I'm going to put a link in the description. So it, uh, let me show you what it does. Okay, so here's the link. Here's the site that I'm going to give you all. So when you click on a key, like I'm going to push M, it gives you the event code key that you'll need, which for that one is key M. And it's, and it's the same for like, you know, this is for seven on the top keyboard. Uh, you can use like the, that's the minus. The comma, the period, the slash, yeah. So there's there's the key event. So if you want to like use a comma and then a, or a period to do that, then there you go. There's comma period. You can do that. Just make sure to copy and paste it. And then when you're done, just push the save button. I mean, you're you're done with that. You've got a uh, key M and key N. Let's go test it out now, guys. Now again, I turned this thing off, like we're at Jimmy's location. I turned that off because that was annoying for me. You can keep it. I'll show you how to turn off if you desire. But yeah, just go ahead and just click on the first floor. Now it's going to be huge, but if you push like N, it'll go away. But if you push M, it's back to where it was. Back to where it was. Amazing. And again, you can get rid of that uh, that red... I don't even know what you would call it. The red figure that shows where Jimmy's hiding in the corner. You can get rid of that. I'll show you how to do that real quick, because that, that is annoying. I'm not gonna, that's kind of annoying for me. So to get rid of the annoying red thing, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the document. Whoop, too much. Line 41,211, that one right there. Where it says, in its wall hack, just push, put like two slashes before that, and it'll, and you won't have that wall hack. You can do the same with the others as well. If you don't want the radar, again, two slashes. Don't want the item. I don't even know why that's there. Two slashes. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's basically how you do it. I hope this helps. If it did, uh, amazing. If it didn't, I don't know what to tell you. You screwed up somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Yeah.